All right, welcome back to more story about my uncle. Uh, last time we left off, uh, we were about we went to the village, and now we're about to get our other crystal, which will which will I'm pretty sure will allow us to get like another additional grappling hook, if from what I remember. Yep. Thank you. I felt a little uneasy about moving wait, over wait, wait. into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? Um. I'm fucked, aren't I? God damn it. <sighs> Can I reach you? Yep. That's kind of creepy, actually. What the fuck? Wait. Oh, there we go. Are you serious? Oh my god. That's embarrassing. I should have the correct momentum now. Oh my god. There we go. Interesting place. I missed it. Oh, fuck. See, this is where the hard part comes. We have to like make precise jumps, and those are not always the easiest to do. Darkness swept really over me it. as I left the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms. This is gonna be a next stage, I believe. <laughs> as I entered the chasms, it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink, and although I tried not to be afraid, I couldn't help but shiver. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well, or was it something else? Pretty mushrooms. <laughs>
They cling so desperately to what they know, won't ever do anything new. It feels better when Fred is around, but... I told Madeline I didn't mind, and I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. They are done by people who left the village long ago. They're called the Strays, but no one wants to talk about. I started translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred found. This one says, Don't move when the eye is open, I think. I wonder what it means. Whatever. We should get going. Why don't you take me on your back? It'll be faster if you carry me. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Turn around and I'll hop up. <clears throat> You're not going to drop me, right? Okay, let's go. Hopefully Madeline not. climbed up on my back, and with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. The winding, narrow tunnels felt like they were closing in on me. They were oddly long and twisting, almost like someone or something had dug them out. With Maddie on my back, I had to be careful not to bump her head on the ceiling. Uh, I think it's did a couple a while ago. <laughs> Whatsoever. Whoa. Farewell, old life. Let us start anew. The Straits were ordinary people living in the village long ago. They disagreed with the old traditions and left to form their own village, or they were thrown out for misbehaving. The stories differ a bit. I messed up. What the hell? So close. I missed it again. Oh, wait, I didn't miss it. Wait, what? Oh, that was so lucky. Seemingly bottomless pits loomed below us, everywhere in the cave. The further we got, the more I felt like what faint light existed down there was getting fainter. I was really glad that I wasn't alone. And here. No, I can't. Yeah, I'm dead. Nice. Beware of what? Of what? Yes. sound good <laughs> what was that i had never heard a creature sounding as terrifying and i imagined it wouldn't be happy about visitors well i'm 
gonna leave this episode up here, guys. So, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.